Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate that kind introduction and a warm welcome. Let me just say that it is an honor for me to be here at the American Veteran Awards. It's a true honor. Now, folks ask me, what's it like to be president? I like it. got a lot of perks. I'll tell you something I don't like. I don't much like Camp David. Uh -uh. They call that a ranch. Let me tell you something. That's a ranch. That's the sissiest ranch I've ever seen. <laughs> Ranches have animals. Big animals, horses, longhorns, cattle, things like that. Camp David, we got squirrels and bunny rabbits. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Heads of state come out and say, let me, let's see your animals. Had a Russian president, Vladimir, uh, Vladimir Pooty Poot. I had him out there a few weeks ago. Let's see animals. What am I going to say? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I got a thousand head of squirrel over there. <laughs> you can't rope a squirrel. I know, I tried. But I'll tell you, being president has its challenges. It does. There's a lot of challenges. A lot of folks, uh, a lot of folks, say I'm not the brightest bulb in the knife drawer. <laughs> Tell you what, I never claimed to be Dilbert Einstein. <laughs> Listen, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Maybe I wouldn't last too long on Jeopardy. <laughs> I can tell you right now, my predecessor wouldn't last two minutes on Temptation Island. <laughs> well, the campaign and the economy going like it's going. I, by, by the way, let me tell you something. Don't worry about the economy. Don't worry about the economy. That's my job. <laughs> now I'm not worried about it. <laughs> but with the economy and the war in Iraq, a lot of folks are asking, I'm asked every day, I was just over there in England, someone asked, what about Afghanistan? Let me tell you something. We have not forgotten about Afghanistan. Our war in Afghanistan was an unqualified success. We displaced the Taliban regime. We destroyed their hideouts and weaponry. We did tens of dollars in damage. <laughs> we stopped the evil doers from doing that evil they do so evilly. <laughs> A lot of them evil doers are now evil doers. <laughs> I'll tell you something. We had to stop the Taliban. We had to stop them because they wanted to take over the world. Can you imagine the world and what it would be like with the Taliban in charge? They want to take over everything. They want to take over TV. I can't imagine the shows we'd be stuck with. We'd be sitting at home watching shows like Touched by a Camel. <laughs> celibacy in a city. <laughs> Everybody loves Ramadan. <laughs> and 
And I, I want to tell you something. I want to bring up sort of a sore subject. But I remember a lot of our Arab allies, they didn't like it. They didn't like it when I used the term crusade. They didn't like that. But they said jihad. Jihad this and jihad that. How about I come up with a new term? How about a good old-fashioned Texas ass-whipping? How's that? I'll tell you something. I'll tell you this. I'll take a stand on that Saddam Hussein. You realize this is a man who threatened to kill my dad? My mom threatened to kill my dad. You don't hear her anymore, do you? I want, to, I want to, let me say something here. I want, to, I want to say something. We're not against Islam. We're not. We're not against the Iraqi people. We're not against body hair. <laughs> Which is the only reason I can figure that the French won't sign on. I gotta tell you something. The French are, uh, they're funny people. They don't, uh, they don't know how to solve solutions. They don't. <laughs> they have a hard time. They have a hard time thinking out of the box. They need some Yankee ingenuity. Is what they, I'll tell you something. You know what's wrong with the French? They don't have a word for entrepreneur. They're, uh, they're our ally. They're our ally. They're, uh, we're going to work with them. There's an old saying, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Let me tell you something. You shove a garden hose down that sucker's throat, you can make him drink. <laughs> You don't have to lead them anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I like horses. <laughs> but I tell you, a new day is dawning. Iraq's future is bright. In the words of Sigmund Freud, I have a dream. I tell you something. I uh, I want to tell you it's an honor. It's an honor for me to be here with such distinguished people, fine Americans. I'm grateful. And I realize these are these are challenging times. I do. Tough times. They're tough times for me. Cause I uh. I never know where Dick Cheney is. <laughs> Every time I turn around, they're hiding him at some undisclosed location. Which irritates me. Because when they take me there, they blindfold me. You laugh. But I was in China the other day about a year ago. having lunch with the Chinese premier when in the middle of lunch he turned, looked at me and said, Hey, George, it's me, Dick. <laughs> About scared me to death. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you all.
and God bless all of the veterans of the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you.